Hello, this video is going to take us from popcorn harvest to popcorn popper. We planted our popcorn this year on May 25th. It was a little later than anticipated, but we had some bad weather. So May 25th was a planting date and we harvested it on October 4th. The husks were dried and yellow on the day of harvesting and the popcorn you could feel was drying as well. This was the first time we ever planted popcorn, so it was pretty exciting for us to finally be able to harvest. We planted two small areas totaling 64 square feet of popcorn, but we were certainly happy with the amount we were able to harvest. Next came the first start of the drying process. We had to remove the husks from all of the cobs of corn. The goal was to keep the husks attached at the end of the cob so we could tie them together later on for drying. After the husks were removed, at least partially, we tied the cobs together in groups of four. We then hung the popcorn bunches in a hallway window to start the drying process. We had them hanging to dry for six weeks. After two weeks, however, I got a little antsy and I tested about seven kernels to see if they would pop, and they actually did. But we really did want to make sure that the bunch was dry enough, so we let it go for six weeks. The next step was to remove the kernels of popcorn from the cobs. I started by removing all of the husks. Now here comes the fun part. To remove the kernels, you just basically have to get a little starter area, a starter patch going. Once you have your starter area cleared, you just take your thumb and start pushing the kernels towards that clear area and they come off really easily. It was actually much easier than I had expected. However, I have to admit, after a while my thumbs were getting a little sore and dry. I then decided to try another method I had heard about, and that was rubbing the two cobs of corn together to remove the kernels. This method really worked out well, and it was a lot easier on the thumbs. The one drawback was the popcorn was flying all over the place. I used this method for quite some time, but then I ended up reverting back to my previous method just so I could keep the kernels of corn in the bowl. Both methods worked really well, and both methods removed the kernels of corn from the cobs, so I was happy with the results. Finally, all of the popcorn was removed. There was quite a bit of dust or particles from the cob that came off during the kernel removal, so I poured the kernels into a sifter and sifted it out, and it worked really well, really cleaned it up nicely. Finally, I was able to jar up our popcorn. I put it into three pint jars and two one cup jars and vacuum sealed it just for good measure. Of course, I kept some off to the side so we could put it in the popper and sample it right away. This was really a fun gardening experience for our family and I would really encourage you to try it. I would certainly love it if you would subscribe to the channel and come back for more videos.